in this section, what we'd like to do is take a closer look at how simple it is to operate the auto command tractor. We'll look at the shuttling mechanisms, how to operate the transmission with the controls, and also a quick look at the brakes. So we got brought the tractor outside here, we're ready to go. Let's climb in and take a look. So the first thing you need to do before you operate the auto command tractor is take it out of park. The auto command has a different style shuttle lever, which includes a park position. The park position is down and forward, as you can see indicated by this diagram right here. So when you're ready to run the tractor, you pull the tractor out of park, and you're ready to choose a direction. So once you disengage the parking brake, you're now ready to choose a direction. With this shuttle lever on the auto command, you simply choose a direction, and the shuttle returns to a center position, either forward or reverse. And when you choose a direction, you'll be able to see on the IntelliView 3 screen where the park brake symbol now turns to a tractor with an arrow direction. So once you've chosen a direction, you can see the tractor is now flashing with a forward arrow. There are two ways to get the tractor to actually move. One is the handle, the command grip handle really that I have my hand on, the other is the foot pedal. We'll start by describing the command grip handle. The system on the auto command is a force based system, which means the harder I push on the handle, the more or the faster the tractor is going to accelerate. We'll give you an example here. I just barely push on the handle, the tractor is going to start to move very slowly. If I let off the handle, the tractor continues at that speed, but the handle returns to the center position. If I continue to push forward on the handle, the tractor continues to accelerate. To slow the tractor down from any speed, you simply pull back on the handle, the tractor comes to a stop. The second way to control the tractor's speed is with the foot pedal on the floor. Not only does the foot pedal control the engine speed, it also controls the transmission ratio. So to get the tractor to actually move forward, I simply press down on the pedal and the tractor starts to move. As you let off the foot pedal, the tractor comes to a stop again. The further you push down, the faster the tractor will continue to move. So now that we know how to make the tractor move, let's talk a little bit how to make it stop. The brakes in the T7000 Auto Command tractor are a little bit different than previous tractors. The brake pedals are in the same place and function the same way. They work the axle brakes, but they also gear down the transmission ratio when they're depressed. For example, if an operator is driving down a gravel road and wants to bring the tractor to a stop, he would depress the brake pedal. The tractor will decelerate by both axle braking and transmission gear ratio. The tractor comes to a stop. When the operator wants to continue, all he needs to do is let off the brake pedal and the transmission will gear back up to the previous speed. If the operator wants to come to a complete stop, he can depress the brake pedal and pull back on the command grip handle to bring the tractor to a stop. The next thing I'd like to cover here are the shuttling methods of the T7000 Auto Command tractor. The first method is the column mounted shuttle. This is a shuttle you're used to with other T7000 tractors. The one difference is it's now a momentary switch. If you shuttle forward, the switch returns to the center. If you shuttle in reverse, the switch returns to the center. The second method of shuttling is the switch right here in the command grip handle. It works the same as the column mounted shuttle, but it's very easy to reach a simple press of the button with your thumb. So if the tractor is moving forward, you simply press the reverse arrow, the tractor will slow down, change direction. This, likewise for forward, you press the forward arrow, the tractor slows down and changes direction and continues in the forward. The third method of shuttling the tractor, controlling the tractor direction, is with the command grip handle. You simply use the handle to move the tractor forward. When you want to switch direction, you bring the tractor to a stop by pulling the handle backward. Once you come to a stop, return the handle to neutral and pull backwards. The tractor will move in a rearward direction.